It was back in 2022 when Indonesian firm Aaksen Responsible Architecture painted its roofs with a special coating. The heat was at its peak in Bandung, and Aaksen's office needed relief from the oppressive weather. The temperature at the outside was 51 degrees at the outside, at the surface of the roof. So after uh, putting the Be Cool um, coating, it lowers down in the indoor from around 32 to 25, 27. The benefit is like we don't use air conditioner at our office. We don't calculate the uh, electricity too, but actually like it's very saving for us because we don't also use the fan really often as well. Um, before that, we, of, we, we use that almost like all the time. So after that, we only like use that only like for like during the midday only. Aaksen is among those who took part in the Cool Roofs Indonesia project, which aims to minimize trapped urban heat by using reflective roofs. The initiative started in 2019 when Indonesian professors collaborated with a US-based industrial coating manufacturer for the Million Cool Roofs Challenge competition. The pilot project was rolled out in 15 Indonesian cities, covering over 70,000 square meters of roofs. Like in Bandung, my city, 89% of our built environment is settlement. So we just less than 10% of open space. We are targeting this household housing area to have this uh, yeah, to have this product. Four years on, and Cool Roofs Indonesia is now on an expansion mode with the production of a thermoshield paint that costs 100 US dollars. That's enough to cover over 72 square meters or around the size of six car parking lots. That's more affordable for low income households compared to other products available in the market, which cost around $300, three times as much. 2019, we tried to install this uh, project. 100% is free. I mean, like, uh, because this is like a challenge and they give us the money to make this uh, pilot project. So first time we try to find which city want to collaborate with us. That was Tangerang City next to Jakarta. We won the competition in 2022 we need to set up the startup production. Yes, there is a significant drop in the temperature. The surface is almost uh, three to four uh, degrees lower, but in the room temperatures, it, it just uh, one and one and a half, but it's significantly things better because with one degree lower, uh, we can feel more comfortable in the room. Solutions such as cool roofs are in demand once again as temperatures rise in Asia. In mid-April, a heat wave hit much of the region with the mercury reaching record highs of above 40 degrees Celsius in parts of Myanmar, India, Bangladesh and Thailand. And experts say it could get worse. In years to come, we will break the national record here in Singapore and we'll see other records in Southeast Asia broken and in some cases shattered where we have far beyond anything that we've ever experienced before. Between 1992 and 2013, heat waves cost the global economy up to 16 trillion US dollars in losses due to the effects of high temperatures on human health, productivity and agricultural output. All countries are learning now to, that they have to adapt to climate change. We can think of measures that will make sure that we continue to have abundant food supply, abundant um, water supply. We can look at measures that don't cause us to really significantly stress the energy grid. I mean, that's going to be a problem because if you warm up the outside temperatures, the reaction of the population is to increase their use, for example, of air conditioning. So we need to be very, very aware of this as we move through into 2024. 
Cool roofs are a sustainable solution in developing countries with high temperatures and low access to cooling. But there are barriers to scaling up. Challenges is education. So the challenges will always be there unless everybody understand the purpose of what is being done for together. Bear in mind, bear in mind, uh, it works very well if it's like maybe two story. Because imagine in Singapore, you have a high rise of 20 story. Okay, so the cool roof will effectively uh, benefit the person who's sitting on the top floor, isn't it? While there are limitations on how much cool roofs can ease indoor temperatures, the benefits outweigh any potential inconvenience. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I would say do it. Uh, the technology is uh, available, tested, do it. Low cost, easy to implement. Don't rely so much on air conditioning, cooling. Do both if you really want to, but start doing it.